In this video, we are looking at how to secure access to the internet through our home network using Cloud Connection. We're going to look at two scenarios. The first scenario, we're going to direct all traffic, internet traffic through WPC for a certain user group or groups. And we're going to have a second scenario. In the second scenario, we're going to secure access to an uh, uh, internet application or a website through our home network and through WPC or Cloud Connection. Now, in order to do so, we need to be on admin UI and we're going to go through the steps of connecting our network to the Cloud Connection. So, on w, uh, admin UI, expand networks and click on networks. As you can see, I already have a couple of networks, but I'm going to uh, create a new one so I can connect my home network to WPC. This one is going to be secure internet access since we're talking about that. Basically, we're going to use this network as an internet gateway for all internet traffic. We're going to click on continue and we are uh, going to give a name to this network. Um, in order to distinguish this from the rest of the uh, networks that I have or settings that I have, I'm just going to call it IG network. And for the connector, I, I'm just going to give it a name so I know this connector is for this network. And um, again, call it IG uh, connector. And let's choose a region. My network is in Los Angeles, but if your uh, network is somewhere else, you want to make sure that you choose an appropriate region, then click on Next. Now, um, our home network is going to be Windows Server, so my connector is going to be installed on a Windows Server. As you can see, there are three steps. First, we need to download the Connect app, and then we're going to run the Connect app as a service and enable NAT. Uh, step two and three, you can click on the link and follow the instructions. I'm not going to go through that in this video, but I'm going to download the Connect app because our profile is in that bundle. So once downloaded, let's double click on the zip file and uh, I'm going to extract it. As you can see, there are two files in here. One is to install the Connect app and the other one is the profile. So um, I just extracted, here we go. This is um, the Connect app installation file and this is the profile. We already have the Connect app installed, so I'm going to double click on the profile to import the profile in the Connect app. And here we go, click OK and it's IG network profile. So that's the right profile, click on connect. And our network is connected. Let's make sure that um, everything is good. Click on next and our connector status is connected on get green light. Click on next. This is where we're gonna choose either uh, selected application or IP services or all internet traffic. Again, in this scenario, we do all internet traffic. So I'm going to deselect all networks and hosts, and I'm going to choose a couple of user groups since we're just going to send a couple of user groups through the um, WPC when it comes to their internet access. Let's choose tech support and RDP users, uh, for example, in this case. Click on next. Um, applications, again, this is where we can define access to uh, public or private applications. This is something that we're going to see in the next uh, section. So scroll down and I'm going to click on next, leave it blank. And when it comes to IP services, I don't have anything here. Click on next at the bottom of the page. Um, here we can create a access groups if we need to. Again, we already chose the user groups. We don't need to do anything here. I'm just going to click on finish. Let me go ahead and refresh this page. So we can see if our status, here we go, our status is online and we do have a green light on an IG network. Let's go to groups, expand users and groups. And if you remember tech support and RDP users are the two groups that we chose. And if you look at it, split tunnel is set to off now when it comes to the internet access. So basically anybody through, uh, with these two user groups, uh, when they connect through WPC, all their connection internet traffic is going to go through the WPC. Let's uh, look at what is my IP address on the Windows server right now. And this is the IP address that we have on our home network and the Windows server. Let me expand this RDP and I'm coming back to my uh, local machine. I'm sitting in a different um, location and this is my IP address uh, for the location that I'm sitting. So I'm going to bring a Connect app on my laptop here and I'm going to connect with Braden. Raiden is one of my uh, users in tech support. It's connected and let's go ahead, refresh this page and see what is my IP address now. And here we go. The IP address is, starts with 54. This is the same IP address of uh, my Windows server, which is in 
a different location. Here we go, as you can see, those are the IP address. So basically, this is a, a good test to show that all internet traffic is going through um, WPC. Now, I'm going to disconnect here. I want to show you um, one more thing here. Let's say that uh, you already have a couple of existing uh, networks. You don't want to create a network. Let's say I didn't create the IG network, and I want to use one of my existing ones. Again, in this scenario, uh, ignore the IG network. So on my existing ones, as you can see, the internet gateway is off, split tunnel is on. So all I have to do is just go to that internet, uh, that network, click on edit network details and turn on the internet gateway. This is all I have to do. Once I update this, uh, again, the split tunnel stays on, split, uh, then I can go to user groups and choose the group that I want to have the split tunnel off. For example, here on accounting, I click on edit, turn the internet access off and update it. Now, anybody from accounting, if they're connected to WPC, all of their internet traffic is going to go through WPC. Again, keep in mind that in uh, the IG network I just created a few minutes ago doesn't exist, and we're trying to use one of our existing network. Now, when it comes to the second scenario, when we want to secure access to an uh, internet application, I'm going to use a different uh, WPC. So let me uh, go ahead and switch to admin UI for that WPC. And here we go. Um, again, expand network and networks. And uh, here we're going to create a network, secure internet access. You saw this a uh, few minutes ago uh, in the previous section. Uh, let's name it and then give a name to the connector. And I'm going to choose uh, region here, uh, Los Angeles. And then let's click on Next. Uh, again, it's a Windows server. Obviously, this is our server at home. Um, I, we went through these steps in the previous uh, section, so I'm just going to go quickly uh, through this. Again, uh, extract the file because I want to get the profile. And uh, let me extract here. And uh, there we go. And double click on the profile to import it. Let me minimize these two screens. I'll close them. Uh, Okay, here at the import, and as you can see, APPIG, that's my new network, click connect and connect it. And let's look at this says connector green. So the previous one, we did all internet traffic. This one, we're going to do select applications and IP services. Click next. Here, I'm going to choose one website. And the reason I'm doing this, because we can distinguish the IP address from this one website that when it goes through the uh, WPC uh, from the rest of the um, internet access. So what is my IP address.com? I'm going to choose the ports that I need to use, which is HTTP and HTTPS, and click on Add. And then uh, once it's done, click on Next. Um, now, keep in mind, all the internet traffic is going to go outside of the WPC, except when I try to access what is my IP address.com. There's no IP services. I scroll down and click Next. And let's create an access group. Now, let's uh, call it, uh, oops, let me get this. Let's call it. APPIG um, group. And then uh, home users, that's the only group that we have here. And we're going to send it through the APPIG network. And then I have to remove my default mesh um, access group so uh, the new one can uh, come in play. Click on Next, and uh, let's refresh. And our network is online. And we have the green light. Let's look at the users. We've got two users, Ella and Emma, both our home users. Uh, so let's uh, let me get out of this uh, server, come back to my home uh, machine, and I'm going to look at my IP address here very quickly. This is my local IP address. What is my IP address.com? If I go to that page, that uh, shows the same IP address because I'm not connected to WPC right now. Let me go ahead and import uh, Emma's profile here. And uh, let me get rid of this. Next. And then I have to type her username and password, Emma, and then password, and click on sign in. And let's choose the region, uh, Atlanta, since the first time we're logging in as Emma, and connect. 
So am I connected? Uh, let's look at the IP addresses now. Again, everything should go outside of the WPC, the same IP address. But what is my IP address should go through the WPC. So let's look at the IP address. I'm refreshing this page. It's going to take a second. And here we go. It shows different IP address starting with 184. Now, what is this IP address? Let me go back to my server, um, who's, which is in Los Angeles. And let me open a tab and tell what is my IP address on Google. And as you can see, it's the same IP address that I get uh, when I uh, use uh, when I go through my WPC to access what is my uh, IP address.com. So this is how you uh, set up uh, your um, secure access to the internet via your home network. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next videos. Thank you.